He is known for his outstanding political career as a three-time consul and three-time dictator of the Roman Republic. He was one of the early heroes of the Republic, revered alongside other esteemed statesmen. He's recognized for his military triumphs and moral virtues, including his famous victory over a Gaul in single combat and his strictness in upholding discipline, even executing his own son. His name is Titus Manlius Imperiosus Torquatus. In the annals of Roman history, one name stands out as a legendary figure, Titus Manlius Imperiosus Torquatus. Born during the height of the Roman Republic, Torquatus was destined for greatness. As a renowned politician and general, he accomplished feats that earned him a place among the Republic's early heroes, alongside esteemed figures like Cincinnatus and Furius Camillus. Torquatus' rise to prominence began on the battlefield. As a young military tribune, he engaged in a legendary duel with a towering Gaul, defeating him in single combat. This tremendous victory earned him the epithet, Torquatus, named after the torque he took from the Gaul's lifeless body. This symbolized his remarkable prowess in battle and emphasized his status as a fearsome warrior. Yet Torquatus' legacy extended beyond his military triumphs. He was renowned for his unwavering moral virtues and strict adherence to discipline. A testament to his discipline came when he made the difficult decision to execute his own son for disobeying orders in a battle. This act demonstrated his unwavering commitment to duty and cemented his reputation as a leader who prioritized the greater good over personal sentiments. Torquatus' exceptional life served as an inspiration for generations to come. His descendants sought to emulate his heroic deeds and moral values, honoring his memory long after his passing. Even centuries later, his name continued to evoke admiration and respect, reminding the Roman people of the extraordinary heights that a politician and general could achieve. In ancient Rome, Titus found himself embroiled in a tumultuous political and military landscape. His father, Lucius, faced strong opposition from plebeian tribunes for undertaking military preparations instead of fulfilling religious duties. Titus, being banished from Rome due to his speaking difficulties, grew resentful of the charges against his father. Seeking revenge, he confronted the tribune Marcus Pomponius and coerced him into taking an oath not to accuse Lucius publicly. This act of filial piety earned Titus great admiration and helped propel him into the role of a military tribune. In 361 BC, Titus participated in the Battle of the Anio River against the Gauls. When no one from the Roman army dared to face a formidable Gaul in single combat, Titus, with the approval of his commander, stepped forward. Despite being physically inferior, he cleverly attacked the Gaul's vulnerable spots, ultimately killing him. As a prize, he claimed the Gaul's torque and proudly wore it around his neck, earning him the nickname Torquatus, a title that would pass down to his descendants. Titus's military career continued to flourish as he became a prominent Roman leader. Appointed as a dictator in 353 BC, he prepared to attack the city of Caira. However, Caira sent envoys seeking peace, and Titus granted their request. Subsequently, he led an army against the Felici, but upon their arrival, they found that the Felici had vanished. Despite this setback, they wasted their lands but spared their cities before returning to Rome. In 340 BC, during Titus's third consulship, Rome held leadership over the Latin League. Lucius Annius, a representative of the Latin states, demanded co-equal status in Roman government. Titus, refusing their demands, appealed to Jupiter. In an insulting act towards Roman deities, Annius lost consciousness and fell, interpreted as divine vengeance by Titus. Declaring that he would strike down Rome's enemies just as Jupiter struck down Annius, Titus realigned Rome with the Samnites against the Latins. Do you want to explore more politician or military strategist? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.